welcome back for another Winning Wednesday. So today I want to talk to you all about going deeper with God. And excuse me if I am looking down a lot because I really want to read to you all what it is that the Lord had me to write down to share with you all. So I don't want to miss anything. So I do apologize up front. So there's this song called Oceans by Hillsong that says, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. So you all may also be familiar with this story in Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33, where the disciples are caught out in a storm on a boat and Jesus comes out to them in the midst of the highest point of this storm to rescue them walking on water. And so when Peter, he saw him, he asked to walk out onto the water to him. And so this is how the story goes. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowd, after he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone and the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, it's you, Peter replied. I'm sorry, Lord, if it's you, Peter replied. Tell me to come onto the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and, be and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshiped him saying, truly, you are the son of God. So there are a few key things here to note for us from this story about going deeper with God. And number one, it is know that God knows the storms that are ahead of you. We know this because clearly in the scriptures, it says in the beginning that Jesus sent them away in the boat while he prayed. Jesus did not just send them away there. He was preparing them for a lesson. You see, Jesus had already, the disciples had already been with Jesus and he was already, he had just already performed the miracle of feeding the 5,000 with the two fish and the five loaves of bread. So God is always preparing us because he already knows what's ahead of us. Sometimes we don't look at those things that he's preparing us for and we don't always apply them at that moment. So number two, we know that God is always praying for you. So when he sent them away, Jesus went to the Father to pray for strength because Jesus in himself, he's doing all of these miracles and he knows that it is important, just like it's important for us to withdraw away from the crowd, withdraw away from the distractions and the busyness of life and all the demands that life has and pray for what is ahead of us. That's how you can go deeper in God. And number three, your faith will increase when you see Jesus coming to rescue you. And that's true for anything. When you know when you're in a storm or you're in a situation and you're crying out for help and you need help and you know you start to see in the distance the person or persons that can come and help you, something about your faith activates and it reignites. And so the disciples, they were tirelessly 
trying to make it through this storm, the storm rowing against the waves of the storm. And I am sure they wonder, where is Jesus? Why would he lead us out to this storm? But you know what? God is always there. He's always with us. He's always ever present. And he did not send them there without that help that they needed. So yes, God will lead us into some storms, but we are not without the help that we need. When Jesus prays for us, he's asking the spirit that lives within us to be there, present with us when he is not physically there until he can actually physically show up in our situations. And when he shows up in the midst of my situation, in the midst of your storm, in the midst of their storm, you too will be like Peter. You will ask to walk out in faith to the one that can make the storm cease. So going deeper in God requires these simple things, knowing that God is ahead of you, knowing that Jesus is praying for you, and trusting that Jesus will step in on time to calm the sea, to calm the storm, to change the situation in your favor, to do what it is that you've been asking him to do, what it must have been for them to go out at night and to be out there thinking at first, oh, this is just a little storm. It's something that I can handle. And then the storm magnifies and then you're there, they're there rowing tirelessly what it must have been for them to think that they were alone. You are not alone in your storm. So in this life, we will experience storms where it feels like we are out there to see with no help in sight. But it is that time to go deeper in God and remember those three simple truths. Then you can sing that song, Oceans, with peace in your heart that says, Spirit, lead me to trust you without borders, opening up yourself to the possibilities that God can do the impossible, like allowing you to walk over the storm in the spirit, because God is calling you deeper in him to see past the storms that you are in. He's calling you out in that ocean. He wants you to come deeper to him. Yes, he allowed Peter to come to him because he wanted Peter to see that you can overcome the storm. You can walk over the storm. You can walk over these waves that have been beating you and tossing you and having you have all these emotions and feelings and having you cry at nighttime. You can walk out into the deep waters to God. Trust in God by faith to see yourself past the storms. That's where your faith will be strengthened, knowing that you can go through the storm or you can walk over it where it won't drown you, where it won't take you out because God is saying, trust me. I know the winds are blowing. I know you feel the rains dropping, but I am asking you to step out into the storm because I have you. I am here with you and I want you to go deeper with me because I am bringing you out of this storm, but you must step out on faith. So I'm challenging you today to take inventory of whatever that storm is that's in your life and begin to sing that song, Oceans. Ask the Lord to take you deeper. Ask him to help you see yourself through and overcoming that storm because we have the victory in Jesus Christ. He already knows everything that we're going to go through. He is right there. He's ever present. He's always close to us. He's always near to us. All we have to do is reach out and trust through the spirit of faith that we have in God and see yourself going deeper in God and see yourself being victorious over the storms in your life. That is the Winning Wednesday Word. Thank you all for joining me and I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.